Among the dancers is the Tayo for a pair of dancers, the Manito or male dancer, and the Manito or female dancer perform the Tayo dance. The Manito hangs two blankets on each of his shoulder as he goes around dancing around circle, followed by the players of box and palace. The Manito follows the Manito behind. They go around several times, dancing with a hop and skip with their stretched arms outwards. The Manito can change her style by skipping and mincing steps with her two arms raised, like in a spread. Sister, take it away. Hello, 
first of all, I would like to thank everyone because you have uh, given your time and effort in order to join us tonight. Also, I would like to give and thank Father Key for helping our sisters in the recruitment. No? Um, there are many things that I want to say because Sister Mimey told me me or told us that I have the gift of healing. Do you know the gift of healing? No. Wala na akong ginawa kundi mag-hingi, 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 healing. So that is the gift of healing that I receive from the Lord. So sometimes I am begging others that I am Sister Ted, the beggar of the Virgin of the Poor. So this evening, I will do the same. I'm going to beg everyone. First, I want to tell you that there are four pillars of the Sisters of Mary. I got these words from our Superior General, Mr. Maria Cho. And I think you are familiar with these four pillars. No? The first one is what we have learned from Father Art, the Holy Eucharist. He mentioned that without the Holy Eucharist, the Sisters of Mary will not continue. The second, of course, from the word the Sisters of Mary, the second pillar would be the Sisters. And the third, of course, we have our partners who are not with us. Without their help, we cannot continue our apostolate of serving the poor in the name of Christ. I am referring to the best factor. And the fourth pillar that makes the sisters strong would be you, the graduates, no? The poor. Once you were poor, once you were our children, you are our graduates. Now you are still our children. And you, kung wala kayo, wala kami sandalan, because from you, we will receive prayer. What do you believe when you go to church? If you are faithful of your Christian duty of attending mass, of having the confession, your prayers will be the sisters of Mary strong. That is the greatest, the strongest pillar of the sisters of Mary. And why are we going to get the sisters? From our own children, from our brethren. Look at them. They are all our children. No? So, without the sisters of what Sister Mayden was telling us, who will take care of the children that we are recruiting? So, we rely on you. If you cannot be a sister, you can become a priest. If you cannot join us, you can pray for more vocation, or you can campaign. You know already what the sisters are doing. Huh? Our tradition, the schedule of the sisters, they are almost our children. You know what we are doing. And you can always convince others. Do not say, Ay, matanda ka na, talaga ka pa rin, magpadre ka na lang. No! Imagine, look at father. Huh? You can see that he's very handsome. <laughs> and you look at us. God will get the best. God, God will choose the best in order to continue his work. Okay? So that is for the religious vocation. Please help us. We really need your help. Okay? At least you're, you're so many. You're not maybe ilang percent lang sila ate. No? Oh, and then we cannot uh, not sacrifice the service being with God, being married with God, it's a gift and a privilege. Huh? Many are called, but few are chosen. I can only say that we are best in our family. I am the best. They are the best in the family. Because God has chosen them. And Father of God is the best. Without Him, we cannot receive communion. If we are dying, just one blessing from the priest, we are assured that we are saved. 
And uh, another pillar, of course, would be our tech factory. I have heard from Ate, no? That many of our graduates from your place are already professionals. Many of them are working abroad. I cannot make a like that you belong to explain, but then you belong to a family. I was telling her a while ago. You divide the family, the family, because we, the sisters of Mary, we are family, and we are family in the state. Sabi ko nga sa kapwa sister, you know the sisters of Mary are very special. Why? If St. Paula will become good, the sisters of Mary will say, Oh, I say congratulations, congratulations, St. Paula. St. Paula becomes nothing. The sisters of Mary, St. Paula, you are very nice. We are the only sisters who can scold the same. <laughs> right? So, St. Jolastica, St. Christina, all the saints are our family members. So, kind of involve your families and with that, when your family is already strong, I mean, uh, stay with them. For this school year, one scholarship cost for, uh, uh, in order to sponsor a child, no, in the boy's town or girl's town, the cost would be 68000 Now, for example, say about a family of 45 numbers, the contribution would only be around 1000 or more per year, per school year. If you divide that per a year, you have got much. 1000 divided by 12, that's a very minimal uh, amount of maybe 100 pesos. Right? So you can do that. That's very nice, I think. So I'm just giving you this idea because you don't have enough time. And of course, the last pillar that we have, as I mentioned a while ago, would be our children. You, our dear graduates, you are our pillar. Kung gusto niya na mabuhay, forever, ang sisters of Mary, kayo, kayo ang sagot. Sandalan natin kayo. You are the pillars of the sisters of Mary. From boys down and girls down, we get prayers. We receive your prayer to become strong. From boys down and girls down, we receive the, the religious vocation, the priesthood, also to be a sister of Mary. From boys down and girls down, we receive many donations. Okay? So kayo lahat ang sasagot ng pillars na yan. Palakasin ko natin ang pillars ng sisters of Mary. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to God and thank you to everyone for being with us. Thank you. A blessed day to all, to all everyone. So thank you so much for uh, organizing this program and it's really a great inspiration for us. I just informed to at the Johnny Lisa that we will miss it, but that I was really surprised. Uh, I expected just a, a few graduates before then, but I was surprised more than 800. No? So congratulations and thanks for that. And uh, I just want to say the, that uh, we are really trying our best to do what is the call of the Sisters of Mary and uh, to be the catalyst of change. So I know most of you, they are, you are now doing to be the catalyst of change because of, the, of helping all your younger brothers and sisters. And I know that there are some batches we did not get from the Cordelia here in this place because there are some, some are studying because the main club of Sisters of Mary really is to work and to uh, help the family. But I do believe with those who are studying, after you reach that kind of uh, level, so I remember the words of Father Albert, the uh, time will come, the Sisters of Mary will be uh, handled or organized by all the graduates of the Sisters of Mary. So having that kind of uh, attainment 
So we are hoping to start this. There, he, she is encouraging you to support, especially financially. And not just that, uh, as we check our uh, alumni from Cebu and here in Cavite, we realize that the one who is marketing, especially for the employment, is no other than our alumni. So actually, Dr. Anke told me, how did you do the marketing? I cannot uh, answer her exactly, but then I just accompanied her in different companies. And she realized it's because of the graduates. So please continue marketing, meaning to say giving us uh, uh, the opportunity to have connection with the industry and not just for the industry, of course for the uh, scholarship, because if you are doing your best in the different university and schools, so those owners of the schools, they will be motivated and interested to get uh, students from our school. And of course, what is important here, as what Sister Tess, I also, informed, I also suggested to Sister Tess, what will happen to us if there are no vocation? So, you know, all most of the sisters in the Sisters of Mary are the graduates of the Sisters of Mary. And, and only 2% are not graduate from the Sisters of Mary. So, and we are hoping for those graduates, uh, uh, most of the crowd, uh, those who are entering the religious life, they are just, but, yung pa na. but we need mature graduates. So those who are still sitting out there, so come and go to the committee now. <laughs> So, we need you. If you want to continue the work of the Sisters of Mary, so it's not just the children. We need leaders. We need sisters. So, there are some priests. We are, we are uh, assigning Boys Town. So, we are happy because when they have their vocation campaign, many wants to join the religious life. But we are also thinking about the Sisters. So we need to continue our work in the different countries. So the Sisters of Mary is a missionary, especially for the Filipino. We need you, and our main apostolate is no other than education. So we can help the other country because we are speaking this English, no? so it's a great help for them in order to have a great opportunity for our brothers and sisters in the other countries to have a higher quality of education. And if you can see that there are things that we need to improve in our curriculum or the offerings, so please do not hesitate to come to our uh, campus and you can suggest how we are going to improve. So thank you and a blessed evening. Sister Maine can be very convincing, so you can imagine. We've been traveling together for almost three weeks. It has been very dynamic. It was like... <laughs> yeah. I myself, I would like to thank you very much. I'm just a representative for the great sponsors that are out there. So I wish they could see what happens here at the Sisters uh, of Mary Schools, what happens um, I feel very honored. It's the third, no, the fourth, fifth, I don't know how many meetings we've been having with the alumni. We're having a good big one in Cavite on Sunday. We've been visiting so many companies, and whenever we showed up, actually, whenever Sister showed up, all the alumni came out of every edge and corner to say hello. And um, she said, Who does the marketing? I think it's really the alumni and this. Um, someone said to me, it's still my second home. It will always be my second home. And I think when you come from a country like mine, you cannot imagine this if you've not seen what you live together and what you, you, you are able to, to, you know, to, to um, put up as an event just within a short time. This is really something you cannot imagine when you come from a, company, uh, from a country like mine where school is just a normal school. So, thank you for sharing that with me. I always hear thank you for being here, and I can only say 
thank you for sharing that with me. The reason why I'm here actually is um, to have a look at the success story of the Sisters of Mary here in the Philippines and to help to make it as much successful also in the other countries. We have other situations in Guatemala, Honduras, Tanzania, employment rate is higher, economical situation is more difficult. So what we would like to do is transfer the success story of this country, of the alumni in this country to the other countries. That's the actual reason why I'm here. And I've been learning so much um, within the last two, three weeks and also regarding and coming back to the question of marketing, what the alumni can do, we've also brainstormed about what we think the alumni could do. We, we're sitting together with the alumni in Cebu, with several entrepreneurs, and I think we've come up with new ideas we will discuss on Sunday with the National Board. And I hope that all of you will suggest, uh, will support the ideas that we start to create and to want to become projects. So the future graduates will step into your steps and make this, yeah, Sister of Mary story grow. Because I think it's the only way also to keep the fundraising going, uh, to keep the people be aware of what the Sisters of Mary do, what you do, what this vocation of being this big family is like means and what it means to the world. I think the way you are interacting together is more than just the school. Um, it's faith, it's believing one each other, one another, and it's giving a lot, a lot of support to one another because we all know what it means to be in a weak situation. And I think this is something, especially my first book, can learn from. So thank you very much for all of that.
So in as much as we, the sisters, are trying to do our part by continuing the vast apostolate left by the founder, uh, we cannot do that all alone. We need your help. Just like the sister was echoing a while back, we are one big family. And if deep in our heart, we know and we feel because we consider that we belong to this big family. Whatever happens, wherever we are, there, that, that a thought that there is or there are members of our family who, who we must think about, that, that should never leave our mind, our, our senses. I mean, we should never forget that we have that big family and whatever we do, wherever we go, if there is any way for us to assist, like we are traveling abroad and you see someone else, and you know, there is this someone who in, in his own special way help our students, like giving seminars, they are experts in something, and you could you have the gift of persuading him to give even some time for our students, and you know that, that person, who is, who is quite a gifted in a specific area, can do so much to, to help and to, you know, to share something to our students. Please remember us as well at that moment. Because you have vast experience traveling and meeting several people, uh, which, is, which is not so, we are not, so, we don't have that, that privilege. We are just inside. So if for our part, we are also graduates. For our part, we are trying to do what we can to continue to work with the founder. You, in your own special way as well, could do, could do so much. And just like the dignity of our founder to many of our band benefactors, I think you are familiar with this video uh, entitled uh, Heart to Heart. He was trying to tell us, or to, to um, he was pleading to our benefactors to really help his children even if he is not physically with us anymore by providing money in the bank, food in the table, and clothing in the, in the body. And Father I was also telling that these people who could see this video, if they had a chance to tell other people and more and more people so that more people would know about the program, so that more people would get to know about the existence of the sisters of Mary and these thousands of children who need their help. So if our benefactors were asked by the founder for our, for our graduates, that would be the same. Maybe there are several of our graduates who, doesn't, uh, who, who are not quite active now, but then please do not hesitate to give it a try, maybe once or twice or twice. Just start to sow the seed of invitation that they can do something. And in God's own time, with our prayer, they will respond in the same way that you are responding right now. So I will just uh, repeat what, with my fellow sister's message, we are trying to do what we can, because this is the mission that God has given us, and you and your father can also do so much. Just keep on believing and remembering that we are connected with our prayer, namely the Holy Rosary. With that, we will continue on and on as a vision by our father founder. Have a nice evening. from Lagawe is performed by the Ifugao men and women during a major piece. Accompanying the dance are three gang sour gongs, the tuk tuk, a brass gong about 10 inches in diameter and
Thank you for the surprising information just now. So, uh, first of all, thank you for this gathering. I acknowledge you as co-workers for the vocation promotion. Vocation is so much. Vocation is a just for for the sisters, for the elderly, for priesthood, or for religious life. Vocation is also for, or should we say, everyday life. And uh, as I can see all the alumni here, I'm so happy. I'm thinking maybe if I saw this early when I was young, young my age. Maybe when I was in high school, I have also been there. <laughs> but I'm so happy it's because uh, uh, well, uh, I've not yet started for how many years. I was listening a while ago and I, I come to acknowledge the 31st month. 31st. 30, 31. 31 years of recruitment. The 31 years. And uh, I come to acknowledge that 30, 31 years of your recruitment of this vocation promotion in the Diocese of Baguio, where I belong, and the Diocese of Christ. We have also Catholic schools. And in these Catholic schools, usually on the, the, the secondary, we have also elementary and the nursery. So these schools, we are also promoting vocation. That's basically the main process of the primary or, or first or whatever. We are promoting also vocation there. But uh, when uh, uh, the, 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 the guys here went to Kapangan for the vocation campaign, I, uh, I did not hesitate to offer them the necessary help. Though I have also my school there. I have the school director, and then the center is Kapangan there. But I also I offer this just a little help to the guys here. Just because we acknowledge the good So thank you, our dear sisters, our dear Billy Packers, for this. Been to those, shall we say, meritorious achievements we are doing, and then on until, shall we say, until the second coming. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, and we have the Dyson Baguio, the Bishop, Big, and the clergy and the religious. I thank you for coming. Thank you for offering your help, especially in this year recruitment in the Cordillera, especially here in the Dyson Baguio. Thank you. I acknowledge your. Can you say your efforts and may continue, may God continue to bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Um, our younger batch has prepared a lot. And finally, they prepared Tatchok dance, pure Kalina dance. It's an expression of happiness. They told me we are just very happy that we saw the sisters are here joining us tonight. So, Come on over, 29 dash.
this is this is uh, our token of appreciation for uh, visiting the region, and this is a table card that it's made from Easter Wave. So it's a way by uh, people here. Yeah, what you already. Really?